Hi. Today we're going to talk to part 10 of the history of Earth. The Triassic, 250 to 200 million years. So where we last left off, Earth just re Earth just went through the worst mass extinction of its history. But now, as you can see in this, it really didn't, this being, and was now Argentina, life just recovered. And as you can see, though this is actually later on, during the middle of the period, as you can see, there was some of the first dinosaurs, of course, the large thereupon being a rare source, being about 10 feet long, whereas the smaller one, and just 3 feet long, being era wrapped. Yeah. And the background was there is crocodilians like an atus. But yeah. And when and with life's recovery being plant life recovered as you can see though this was around the coastline since Earth but not for long though was combined in still combined in one supercontinent called Pangaea still meaning it mostly looked like this in coastal areas. And whereas the rest of it being the turtle part of the continent, it would have been desert. Barren desert. And also, during this time, trees being carnivorous trees started to take over. And and replacing club mosses, giant club mosses, for instance, or horse tails that seem to have been dominant for so long. And all, and where's the underwater sea? As you can see in this picture, many different kinds of fish it's, and also some, some animals, was, of course, though, earlier in the early Permian, or around the beginning of it, of course, being found both, fossils being found both on Africa and South America, of course, Mesosaurus, that sh being a reptile that Seems to be a case, an early case of, of vertebrates or animals moving back to the water from the land. And it seems to be at, with life's recovery, reptiles, see, and since the only wash areas were miles around, throughout the whole supercontinent Pangaea, were mostly around the coastal areas or the edges yeah which is how there were marine reptiles such as ichthyosaurs and nothosaurs and of course some of the largest ones including Shostasaurus at 70 feet long, around 70 feet long, whereas Neve recently, though I forgot, though of course, there was new one, a new Ichthyosaur that probably grew to be even bigger, around 80 feet 
long. Or even 25 years long, around 82 and a half feet long. So yeah. And of course, Tanks Trophy is though, which would more hang around the coast rather than being in the water. And did not strictly live dead in. And of course, Though an old video though, of course, but a pretty good one done by my one and truly favorite, Trey the Explainer. And it also being a similar case to Spinosaurus, how just last year, it, as well as being the first ever juvenile fossils, of it been found, but also new evidence that supports that was all that was act that did not mostly strictly live in water and that was actually actually not at all a very good swimmer as once believed, but rather weighted in shallow water. More like a hairy bird or a grizzly bear. But anyway, so it seemed like life went back to normal, and of course, and over time, as it would become later on, it would become, the climate would gradually become more humid again, like it did during the Devonian or Carboniferous. And, and of course, the dinosaurs would soon take over. And of course, our ancestors, which would included guys like, of course, boat like Belez Zodon or Thrinaxed on, though which would have lived during around surely before that the Permian, but yeah, and over time become smaller. But of course, there was, of course, the Diectodons like Placeria still, and also Crocodilians like. Post the Sucus and also and also Sorosucus. It's the case with this. Yeah. Whereas post the Sucus being walk from walking with dinosaurs and also meteors like C with Physis and Gladiosaurus so being from the first episode walking with dinosaurs. Yeah. Pretty much life seemed like it was getting better until 200 million years ago catastrophe struck again killing off the group that included Postasuchus and the group that included Placerius leave being the vacuum open for for the dinosaurs. Of course, it was during when Pangaea split in half between one supercontinent, Laurasia, in the north and one in the south, though being gradual over time and the formation of the Atlantic Ocean. And around this time, some of the first true mammals started to appear. Yeah. Well, thank you all once again for watching, but as usual, leave a like and subscribe 
to watch more content on this channel every day, but from now on, thanks for watching. I'll be back later with another video.